welcome to global perspectives. It's a sure sign of market confusion when performance is topped by both the riskiest and the safest asset classes. Such was the case in the month of May, which saw both emerging market equities and long U.S. Treasuries among the top performers. And these asset classes were far from alone in solidly positive territory, making the long-held investment adage, sell in May and go away, a risky proposition in 2014. Selling in May was rendered even more ill-advised by comments from the European Central Bank throughout the month that strongly hinted at the looming introduction of new stimulus. Draghi and company ultimately delivered after their June 5th meeting, surpassing expectations with a number of new and revived initiatives designed to prod the European economy out of its deflationary spiral. While these actions may already have been priced into the markets to some extent, the added liquidity argues strongly against a defensive position. So too does recent data out of the U.S., which has painted a much improved picture after the first quarter's cold addled contraction. Manufacturing is accelerating, so too are employment and housing, providing a vital boost to consumer confidence in spending. And for all the weather-related lamenting, corporate earnings surprised on the upside in the first quarter and are expected to trend significantly higher over the balance of the year. Keep in mind that investment adages are not truisms. They are merely intended to simplify long-term trends that seem to repeat but are not necessarily actionable. Sell in May suggests divesting assets with very different risk and return characteristics while disregarding the important roles they play in a diversified portfolio. But there's no need to resort to hoary old cliches when you incorporate a broad array of assets in an effectively diversified portfolio that builds wealth and controls risk 12 months a year. I'm Doug Cote, and that was this month's Global Perspectives.